everyone, Harriet here, hope you're doing okay. Today's video is going to be TLC's predictions video and like I put in my breaking news video last night, it is all up in the air now, especially with two match changes and we'll go more into that in a minute. It is very much still a shock. I know a few videos have gone up on WWE's Twitter with AJ Styles, all the stars, you know, who have commented on regards to their matches of changes. So AJ Styles, Finn Balor, uh, Sheamus and Zorro, Braun Strowman and even Dean and Seth. So if you want to look at what their reactions are, just click on the Twitter account. I'll leave a link below and then you'll be able to see. I think one of the big things I didn't really mention yesterday because the video I did yesterday was very brief that the fact that Kurt Angle is now going to be wrestling for the first time in 11 years it is a big thing especially since you know this is his first match back since he's come back from WWE and he has been training uh, to get back in the ring but it's I know it's very brought together very quickly so I know a lot of people are very underwhelmed or not happy that this isn't the best way for him to have his first match back but you know it's one of those things they could have got someone else to do it but again you know that's WWE you know they just want to do something that would work and I think this will work I will admit it is very kind of what what the heck is going on you know we were thought we we're gonna have the shield you know in the main event and then because Roman is now sick it's just gone crazy and also the fact that you have Finn Balor versus AJ Styles and they've both you know Bullet Club and this was a dream match it is a dream match but again very rushed put together but you know we'll just have to wait and see hopefully TLC will be able to boost up the morale of the WWE fans so without further ado I have my mobile here in front of me so I'll be able to read out the matches. So the first match is the pre-match and it is Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox. So Alicia went crazy again. Crazy is my keyword for the day. <laughs> so she went a bit nuts backstage after Sasha beat her and she attacked a referee and then you know she got fined an undisclosed amount. And Alicia's new uh, shirt has come out as well which is like crazy like a fox and it's her in a uh, a fox persona and I actually quite like it a lot of people don't but uh, eh, you know um, so pre-show I'm, I'm a bit disappointed Sasha's in the pre-show but you know there's there is another women's match on that show I'm hoping I don't know they might bump it up they did before with a couple of pay-per-views but oh well um, I'm definitely going with Sasha on this and it's just going to carry on because they've had this rivalry before they're going to have it again, so uh, Sasha's going to win. Actually, I tell a lie, there are actually two women's matches in the pay-per-view, as well as Sasha and Alicia, so my apologies. So speaking of that, we're going to go straight on to the first match, and it is Oscar versus Emma. So this is Oscar's ring debut on Raw, and it is at TLC. We didn't know who her opponent was, but there was a match to determine who it was, and it was Emma. Now, Emma has been building up, oh, no one should care about Oscar, they should care about me, but... You know what's going to happen. I, I hope, you know, they don't squash Asuka, but I very much doubt that's going to happen. I think Asuka is going to win this match, pure and simple. And you can definitely hear the chance of, Asuka's going to kill you, definitely, at some point during the match. Next, we have Kalisto versus Enzo Amore for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Wow, the Cruiserweights have had a bit of drama of re recently, haven't they? With Neville now walking out and probably not coming back into the WWE. Uh, which is a shame because, you know, I really like Neville. I loved his heel persona. The, um, I don't know what happened. I really don't. But it, it is a shame. And now with Enzo being heel, he is a good heel. But he is a bit of an idiot. I, I'm not warming to Enzo at all not the heel persona it's just not working with me and um now Kalisto has come along and won the championship it's pretty much the same as what they did with the women's championship it's playing hot potato now so you've got new champ uh, new champions every week um but i think it's going to carry on and i think Enzo is going to win back the title next we have a tag match and it is Cedric Alexander versus Rich Swan versus Gentleman Jack Gallagher and the Brian Kendrick and um, this one is another 205 match, but uh, I haven't really been keeping up to date with this, um, so I don't know much about background. I think Jack Gallagher turned heel thing recently. I'm not too sure. My apologies. I <laughs> it's been very busy in the last few weeks to catch up with wrestling, but um, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Jack and Brian to win this because I think the heels are going to have a good night at TLC. So I'm going to go for that reason. And I know it's a dumb reason and I'm really sorry. Next match we have Alexa Bliss versus Mickie James and this is for the Raw Women's Championship. So with Mickie back in the, the swing of things now, which I'm really happy about, and Alexa Bliss pretty much taking the mick out of how old she is with the whole running jokes uh, for in the last couple of weeks. It's somewhat been a good story. It's been an interesting mix because Nia Jax is now another one who's taken uh, a leave of the company, but she will be back. And um, I'm I'm liking that the fact that, you know, they put Mickey James back into the mix for this, but I don't think she's going to win uh, on Sunday. Just purely the fact that I think they're going to keep the belt on Alexa for another bit. And maybe with this rumoured Royal Rumble women's match that we're going to have. I just have a feeling that Alexa will remain champion just for a little bit longer. And until Nia Jax comes back. Because I think I would like to see Nia Jax as a champion. But that's just my personal thought anyway. But uh, no, Alexa's going to retain on Sunday. Next we have Finn Balor versus AJ Styles. Now... I was probably one of the few people, I said it yesterday in my video, that was looking forward to the last match with uh, Sister Abigail and the Demon Finn Balor. But more so because I just was interested as to how they were going to um, bring out Sister Abigail. Because you know how they did with the crazy effects with both their characters, one after the other. But I just wanted to see how... Bray would come out as Sister Abigail. That's the only thing I was kind of interested in. But if they'd... If it was the two of them, I think Bray would have won. Now, because it's AJ, this is going to be very tough because they're both great wrestlers. Uh, their agility is fantastic in the ring. So I am very torn as to who I think is going to win. Because this is a one-off. It's the fact that AJ is coming from SmackDown and is now just facing off for uh, for this match. And then it's just going to go back to, to normal. So we don't know who Finn's next opponent will be. Um, but there is rumour it could be Brock Lesnar. But, you know, that's a Royal Rumble thing. I'm guessing maybe Samoa Joe. He's due back anytime soon now. So I'm guessing... That's how I thought Bray was going to win. I thought Samoa Joe was going to interrupt and then that's how it would lead on to the next match. But now, like I said, all up in the air. So, oh, I don't know who is going to win this match. Do you know what? I'm going to go with Finn. Purely for the fact that this is a dream match that's been waiting to happen for a long time. And like I said, with circumstances, it has happened very quickly. But it will happen again. And I think for the time being, Finn will win because... I don't know if SmackDown will have that liability of, oh, we've got this win, and then we'll go back to SmackDown with it. I just have a feeling Raw will win, and then we'll have another match later on in the future. Maybe when the brands uh, do their switching around, you know, the superstar shake-up again, and then we'll have that dream match again in the future. And the last match of the evening, we have Kurt Angle, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins versus The Miz, Cesaro, Sheamus, Braun Strowman, and Kane. And this is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. So I am wearing my badges to represent my, my uh, follow for the shield, and I am gutted. I am seriously, seriously gutted that there is not going to be a shield reunion. Uh, well, you know, like a match reunion at TLC. It's just one of those things I know is life, but it sucks. It really does suck because I, you know, how much of a massive Shield fan girl uh, and you know fan I am, and it's just like oh, so frustrating. But like I said, life. The video that I mentioned earlier, it had Dean and Seth talking about Kurt being their third member, and you know how you know things happen, but you know. You have to work with the team. It doesn't matter if you're the general manager or not. You know, you're going to have to work with us. And I'm interested how this is going to work. Now, I've had a couple of theories in my head now how this will work. Well, I've had one main one in particular as to who I think is going to win. So, my theory is that Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins and Kurt Angle will not win. Now, you're probably thinking, what the heck is she on about? She is a massive Shield fan. They've come out for this and they are going to lose. Now, the reason I think this is because they want to get Roman better and they will have another match with the Shield, hopefully. 
and I mean hopefully. So they'll get another match at Survivor Series and it'll be a rematch against The Miz and a team of his choice and it'll be The Shield with a team of their choice. So it will be an equal running ground. So with this I'm going to go with The Miz, Braun Strowman, Kane and Sheamus and Cesaro to win this match. You probably think I'm crazy but this is just all in my mind. That's what I've been thinking about as to how I think this is going to happen ever since the whole you know illness has broken out in the, the WWE. So that's it for my prediction video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below as to who you think will win on TLC this Sunday and hopefully you know the superstars will get well soon for the next pay-per-view get well soon guys you know you know much love to you and this is just a terrible thing that's just happened at a bad time but yeah like I said it's one of those things if you want to know when I upload new videos click on the bell below until then please leave a like subscribe all that jazz and I shall chat to you all soon bye